We continue to preview the 2024 college volleyball season. Our stop today is Lacrosse, Wisconsin, as we get to visit with Ryan DeLong, who is the head volleyball coach for the Viterbo V Hawks. Coach, last season, another fantastic season, but that's pretty much par for the course with this program, especially in your leadership. You're heading into your 20th season, year 19. One of 15 30 win seasons with you at the helm, 34 and 5 last year, and a trip to the national semifinals as well. So we pump up last season a little bit. Talk about that. Well, first of all, when you say that many 20 years, that makes me feel old. But, uh, <laughs> uh, but, uh, any, no, it, it was a good season. Uh, you know, we, it was exciting. It, it, we know, you know, we know how hard it is to get there and, and, and get back. And we've been fortunate to, to get there uh, several times and, and, and play in that final four game. Uh, haven't been able to get over the hump, but, but we've played there several times. And, and last year was a pretty special year. The girls came together um, and, and it, it was a lot of fun. A team led by Kenzie Winker, Grace Rohde, and more. As a matter of fact, you had five All-Americans on that team last year. I mean, you kind of look at it from that perspective and go, well, I hope it's been a good year if you were able to have that kind of quality on your roster. Yeah, no, we had, uh, you know, we had some really good depth. We had some senior leadership. Uh, you know, Kenzie's been around a long time. That was her fifth year. Um, you know, Grace has been been here as well a long time. Um, and then the other pieces, like, you know, you're probably going to, you know, Jada and Teeny and and uh, McCabe all, all contribute, uh, you know, to our success. Jada Mitchell coming back. Let's talk about uh, this season as well. Offensive production. You do have some pretty good production coming back from your middles and Jada Mitchell and Martina McGrath. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, you know, I think, uh, you know, they they could be two of the the – better middles in the country right it probably one two of the best you know the the, the duel that they put together um is pretty special right um you know jada's uh, super athletic she she flies um you know martina's kind of just come into her own uh she really dominated at the national tournament last year i mean she was she was probably you know one of the best players out on the court for us uh you know during during uh sioux city um so you know those two are really special and and if we can pass the ball um, you know, they're going to be, they're going to be really good for us. You have an opportunity to pass the ball. Well, Maddie Connor coming back, she had more than 1100 assists for you last year. Talk about your setters. Yeah. Maddie and, and Kaylee both set for us. Um, you know, and, and, you know, Kaylee's a fifth year senior. Maddie's a, you know, going to be a junior. Um, you know, they run a good offense uh, you know, we'll, we'll may, you know, we'll, we'll probably, you know, starting a six, two, make dwarf into a five one and back and forth depending on some personnel stuff but uh uh no we we've got uh we've got a nice group of setters in our in our gym and and we're excited about that we're visiting now with ryan delong who is the head volleyball coach at viterbo 593 wins coach not trying to make you feel old but uh, <laughs> 593 and the potential to hit win number 600 before the month of august is over with we'll get to the schedule in just a moment but uh, looking at uh, some of the defense, you talked about passing the ball well. Kennedy McCabe, you mentioned her a little bit earlier. Five even digs per set last year, uh, and among those who helped you keep the ball in play. Yeah, you know, again, she's, you know, you got to have great players to be, you know, a, a top 10 team in, in the NAI, and, and she's one of the best uh, liberals, I think, in the country. Uh, and, and she really had a, a heck of a year last year. You know, we're going to rely on her f- probably even more this year with, you know, with the departure of Kenzie and Grace, um, you know, not only as a leadership, but she's just going to have to take a lot of the court. Um, and, and she's, 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 she's skilled enough to do that. So, um, you know, she's going to have, a, you know, we're, we're looking forward to a big senior year for her. The season gets underway for you next month, month of August, August 16th and 17th. You're on the road at College of Idaho in Caldwell, Idaho. Uh, a number yep. of teams there, including the host and uh, Eastern Oregon, going to be there as well. Then the next weekend, a big weekend in lacrosse. You're hosting Corbin, Midland, and Missouri Baptist, which, by the way, uh, that in and of itself, that's a, a fantastic challenge right there. I had a chance to visit with Coach Gieselman a little bit earlier in the week from Midland, and and he says not only hi, but uh, take it easy on him when, when they come up. He's a sandbagger. Paul, he's <laughs> a sandbagger. Great guy. I, him and I and, and Chris started that tournament many, many years ago. I, I don't even know how it happened, probably sometime in Sioux City, and uh, 
you know, we've been playing a, kind of a rotating tournament with those guys and, and Paul and Chris have, it's just, it's just been a great thing for us to start. And I think we've taken turns beating up on each other, depending on the year. Um, and then, uh, and then we just kind of added that fourth team. And, and so it's been a, a different team, uh, you know, many different years, uh, every year that we've had it. Um, and, uh, no, it's, it's exciting. It's, it's, it's a great way to start out. You know, you get to see where you are really early in the year. Um, and then see where you where you need to improve. So I'm excited to ha to have those guys up here and and uh, you know kick off the season. One other thing I did want to mention, Coach, September the 10th, you're at St. Francis, Illinois. It's a new conference look for you all as the the V Hawks have moved from the North Star then to the CACC. Talk about looking at uh, some new teams and and having to develop some new books. Yeah, you know, we, you know, we've seen them before. You know, a lot of the Chicago Land teams because we they come up and play in our tournaments and and whatnot over the years. Um, and and we've got some, you know, I've got some close friends down there at St. X and and St. Francis and a few other places, St. Ambrose, who used to be in our conference. So um, it's somewhat new, but we've played in a lot of those gyms. Um, it's probably, you know, it, it's you know, there's some teams that we don't know either, right? Indiana, there's some teams out of Indiana and and whatnot. So it's exciting for us. We'll, we we'll miss the North Star and the relationships we made there, but um, you know, I think as a recruiting footprint and and whatnot, it's probably the best move for us. All right, again, the season getting underway August 16th, and that will be in Caldwell, Idaho, for the Viterbo V Hawks, coached by Ryan DeLong. Heading into year number 20, Coach Success to the V-Hawks this season will follow along, and we do appreciate you taking some time with us here on Midwest Sportsnet. Thanks, Joey. Hey, thanks for having us, and thanks for uh, doing what you do.